Hello, my wonderful friends. It's me, Dawn, the Kitchen Witch. Um, so it's been a really long time since I made one of these writer series videos. The last time I made one, even though you're seeing them um, in a different order or, or later on than I made them, um, the last time I made one of these was at the beginning of March. And that's about a month ago. And since then, uh, we have had the uh, coronavirus COVID-19 crisis. Obviously, so many of us, all of us, the entire world has been incredibly, deeply, profoundly affected by this horrible pandemic. Um, and so many of us are quarantined at home. Um, and uh, I'm very grateful for the fact that uh, I can still be working on this book at this time. Um, but I have to be honest, a lot of my time over the last three weeks, four weeks, has really been about keeping my company, Kuchin Aurora, keeping it afloat, trying to make sure that I don't have to lay off people, trying to um, work with all different agencies and trying to, um, you know, figure out this insane situation and still being as hopeful as possible that eventually the world will uh, go back to the way it was. Hopefully, by the time you see this video, we've already been out of that and um, you know, the summer is here and, and everything is back to normal, hopefully. Um, so in terms of what I've been working on the book, obviously there's been a lot of delay because life is fucking crazy and the world is upside down. Um, but let's focus on the positive. The good news is that I have been able to continue to work on the book. Since I spoke to you last, I did um, finish up uh, my edits for the initial round of editing. And um, that was huge because I did make my deadline and I think I probably told you about that. Um, I have been able to, even with this um, quarantine situation, I have been able to start shooting photographs for the book and that's amazing. Um, it was gonna be me and like a crew of five or six people. Some of the folks from Simon & Schuster were gonna come from New York. I was gonna have a couple of people come help me. I was gonna have my assistant and my cousin and a bunch of people were gonna come and help me. Um, and so that we were gonna kind of barrel through that really fast and that has not been the case. It is actually me and the photographer and that's it. Um, and we're shooting minimally, you know, we're trying to do it very carefully so that we're minimally exposed even just to each other even though the both of us have been you know us uh, quarantined for the most part um we are trying to get things done quickly and um minimize our time so but it has been really cool i have to say the first day of shooting i came home and i was like oh my god these photographs are amazing um, I'm just ridiculously grateful to be working with this photographer. She's incredible. And you will see why. Um, I could give you a little bit of snippets of some of the things. Um, we shot a beautiful salad and we shot um, a gorgeous cake and we just shot a couple of things and, and the photos are, they're kind of mind blowing because they look really good and um, they, they don't look like something that even I could have done. I was like, that's not, that's not possible, but I did. So I felt really, really, um, really excited. I can't wait for those pieces to sort of fit together with all the stuff that I wrote. Um, also, we did get our final cover art, um, which again, this illustrator um, friend of mine who I've been working with for a couple of years, she's so goddamn incredible. Like I've never been able to express like how she is able to take the, the images that I see in my brain and then like make them with paint brushes. I, I, she's just incredible. So we did get the, um, the cover art, which I'm not allowed to show you guys yet, which I'm dying to show you, but it's beautiful and um, it's really, really exciting. And um, last week I got the second round of edits. So I didn't realize this was gonna be the, the way it works, but we go to first round of editing and um, then it gets bounced. After that, it gets bounced to a copy editor and the copy editor kind of goes through line by line and asks like, hey, where did you get the research for this thing? And are you sure this is what this phrase means? And really it's their job to kind of poke holes in everything I wrote. And that's very uh, interesting because 
I, I, my, I feel really scattered right now with everything else that's going on in the world. And um, I sort of have to bring it back to that and go, okay, I still have a job to do here. Um, and on one hand, that gives me a lot of purpose during this time, which I'm really grateful for. And on the other hand, I'm like, but I just want to wallow in fear and misery. Why can I not do that? Um, but if you know anything about me, you know that I can only wallow in fear and misery for like 10 minutes until I'm like, okay, let's go. I got to get on to the next thing. So, um, it's a journey for sure. And, um, it looks like if I can push through the photographs and everything and the copy editing, which has to be done this week, which is crazy. Um, if I can push through those things and if I'm able to get the photography done by the end of the month, which right now it's just the beginning of April, um, if I can get all those things done, we should still be on schedule for this book to arrive to you, the public, by uh, the end of August, the beginning of September. So that's the goal. That's what I'm, I'm holding out faith for. And um, yeah, so those are my updates for the moment. Um, and not that it matters, but, um, I am well, um, the people I love are well, uh, the, the people on my team are well, everybody has been really smart and really safe about quarantining. Um, and, uh, so at this moment, knock on wood, we are, uh, Kachina Aurora is still open and we're still shipping orders because of great, amazing fans and people like you. So, um, in the meantime, I will be writing and I will be taking pictures and cooking and baking uh, because I have to for the photographs for the book. So thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for sticking with me on this journey to write this book, which just got a lot more interesting. Um, and uh, yeah, if you have questions or comments, please leave them below. Make sure you hit the bell so you know when there's another video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you follow me on all the other socially junk. That's Facebook and Instagram. I'm not really on Twitter though, so don't follow me there. Um, thank you guys again and stay well, stay healthy. And for the love of God, stay home. Okay, bye guys.